Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Day Your Order, I am Templar, and if any of you all are returning, welcome back to my brothers and sisters, you know, today I will be talking to y'all about one of my newest type of armors, a, well, this one I don't know if any of y'all know about, but it's actually a Sam Knight, uh, trifle, uh, cuirass, yes, this is a cuirass, this is the front plate, uh, now this is actually a really cool piece of armor, I decided to get this, since technically this armor was used in the uh, from the very late Bronze Age up until the well uh, end of the uh, I want to say end of Carthage or end of Celtic rule in Celtiberia when the Romans came in because this armor actually was used throughout the Mediterranean. In fact, it was used by the Samnites. If none of y'all know who knows what the Samnites were, they were technically a group, I believe, that lived in Italy. If I'm so I'm told, but some people also state they lived here, they lived there, so on and so on. However, many people actually despite uh, dispute where this armor might have actually really came from, because this was discovered in the region of the Samnites. However, it has also been discovered being used by the Celts and as well Carthaginians and early Greeks. In fact, many historians actually despite uh, actually state that this armor might have actually been used by the cultures of said uh, regions of the ancient Greek Mycenaean period, if none of you all know what that means. In other words, take a look at the history of Troy and you can see my point. Now, since this is a cuirass, it comes with a back piece. Now, this is a different type of cuirass altogether. In fact, unlike uh, other Greek cuirasses, this actually hangs, which is probably a cool, th really cool thing and a lot easier to deal with. Now, it works as the following. I place the said breastplate on. I take the top piece, which got to make sure that this is, uh, the rings are not connected and, well, connected, but not flattened on each other, because otherwise it doesn't work so well. Trust me. Now, this actually is extremely light armor compared to other Greek cuirasses in his or Bronze Age cuirasses in history because this armor actually works and protects my said organs a lot easier. In fact, here's where it protects my kidneys and such. Here's where it protects my chest. And in the process, it works real cool because here's my back plate. <laughs> now, that's actually really cool. Uh, now, it comes with these rings, uh, which I had to take wire cutters and cut these pieces, some of these off, because this thing was a slight bit too big. So yeah, I had to get it around. Now, it does come with this belt. Yes, this is a belt. Uh, this is not uh, a piece of armor guard, but it, is, but it technically is a piece of armor. Now, uh, this is really cool. It has a decorated, I want to say, seahorse, a lion, I want to say, which is probably a cool thing, actually, uh, which if you all see that in the image. Now, Putting this on, this is the problem. Now this is made out of uh, brass, and now if you all don't know how uh, strong it is, some historians actually despi uh, dispute that this is actually just as strong as bronze. I don't know whether or not that's true, I'm not even going to question it or not question it, you get my point. But yeah, now in doing so, this warm does work, and in fact it's actually been stated, as I said, this has been used by early Romans, the Etruscans, the Samnites. This has been used pretty much throughout uh, 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 pre-Iron uh, Age Europe. In other words, this has pretty much been used throughout the Mediterranean. In fact, Egyptians might have used this, but whenever I see this armor, I'm thinking, this looks like a cavalry-type armor. And in fact, uh, Celtic Carthaginians did use said armor. And you could actually wear this with male Alarica Hamata, in fact. But, yeah. I mean, how about this? Uh, let me put on my Alarica Hamata with this, over underneath this, and then put the mantle over it. And we'll get to talking to it. Alright? Alright, as y'all can see, I now got the mail on, and I got the said armor over my mail. Uh, now, uh, I'm not putting the belt on just yet. As y'all can see, I only have it on with a regular belt. Uh, but while wearing this, I did actually feel and notice something that my 
back end, because since I have this back plate on, uh, my nail doesn't hook up as much as it normally does, which is pretty much a probably good thing. Because with this mantle on here, uh, sometimes the rings like to hook in place. But with this underneath, I pretty much uh, don't actually need that, worry about that. Still though, this does actually feel a little more protective. As I said, you can wear this underneath uh, male uh, Lorica Hamata. However, uh, you might want to actually make sure because this is a lot different compared to the other Lorica Hamatas that I see because this is a Celtic version or a cavalry version. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, let me put on the belt. Let's get this one off. And put this on because I'm not wearing a gambus underneath this. Ah. Okay, there we are. Just gotta try finding the hole here. This is a pain in the you know what. There we go. Now, actually, it does fit a little better now since I'm wearing a set of mail over this. Now, in the process, it does look a little more badass. Uh, now, as I say, you pretty much have to wear this set armor if you want to make it a little more flashy on the battlefield. However, I doubt that uh, Celts, Iberians, or Romans, or uh, Carthaginians would have worn these two types of armors together. But I said, but as I said, you can wear both of these if you want, just to show off on the battlefield as the Celts would have. So yeah, let me just take off this mail and get back to it, shall I? Holy crap, that mail was heavy with this on. Now, as I said, with this armor, it could make it double hard to kill me. Now, the only problem about the this armor is its slight openings. Yeah, here's where my opening is, and here's my opening. But here's the thing, I got a good protection on my shoulders, on my sides, especially with this belt. Now, here's the problem. The only place I could pretty much get killed with while wearing his armor is in the armpit-like regions. That's it. Now, I especially don't like this belt. Why? It kind of protrudes a little. It's a little too big for my liking. <laughs> Which, you might want to wear a gambeson while wearing this. Especially if you're going to be a Roman Hestati, for example. In fact, you can easily wear a helmet with this and be a full Hestati. In fact, but for that, I think I might not need this belt because these belts might have not have actually been used by said cultures. So yeah. Now, let me get this thing off. I really don't like it when these things take one form. It's kind of weird for me. Now, uh, as you can see, this armor does actually have this beautiful type of circular disc design, and it protrudes slightly in a pyramid form. Now, what does this do, you might ask? Well, in doing so, this actually does something. This actually stops a thrust. How does it stop a thrust? Well, it's kind of like this. If somebody was to said thrust into this area of the circle, what would happen is the said point of a sword, spear, or whatever that was coming at you would actually go and deflect to this little ring. And what happened is, this ring stops the blade from going any further. And in doing so, I can easily push up and <laughs> attack. That's actually a really cool part. Now, it also comes with these decorated leaf head, uh, rivets on the end. Now, I got this from cultofthe.com, but I will actually also post uh, many links in the description for y'all if any of y'all want to buy said armor. Now, this is extremely uh, good armor. Now, for me, it was like a near $300 on Cult of Athena, so yeah, this is a very expensive armor. Uh, but yeah, you all, if any of y'all need to actually adjust it, be warned, you might actually uh, need to adjust it. So yeah. Now, it does weigh about two pounds, give or take. I want to say more of like about one pound altogether. Because this thing is actually extremely light. I can easily move a lot better... In fact, then I, then I would be in plate armor, 
uh, that would be for medieval period or including even the Greek period. In fact, I'm even told in history that Greeks rather prefer wearing this armor rather than wearing a full-on cuirass that we see a Greek hoplite using, for example. So this armor might have actually been perfect for cavalry. In fact, it's even stated the Carthaginian noblemen loved this armor. I can see why. And this armor can actually be good. Now, uh, I hear you already tell what these things look like your nipples or your breasts. <laughs> I know. It's really stupid. I know. Now, uh, the top hinge piece and the lower strap piece are a little different in comparison. In fact, let me take this piece off. Now, I use this as a back piece comparing that to the front piece. And the difference is uh, between the front, the upper and lower strip or uh, shoulder straps or whatever you want to call them are actually kind of easy to see. One actually is easy to fold, the other one just stays a one shaped curve. Now, uh, here you already, Templar, can I push that uh, cur just shaped curve one up to my shoulder? Yeah, you can. I did it myself, but I didn't feel it a little good for me. I don't know why. So, it's just up to you all. Now, uh, I hear a lot of you already. Well, Templar, what if somebody does the armor more like this? Can it work? Yes, but you don't want to do that. One, for one big reason, uh, here's the thing. This is my exposed breast right here. In fact, I pretty much have a big exposed area now. More than I did with it looking like this. So yeah. Now, as you can see, both the plates are the same size. Now, they do set, mechanically kind of curve a little. That's a good thing. Uh, the one sad part about this armor I don't like at all would be the fact that I actually had to work... Uh, uh, around the armor in order for it to work properly. That's the sad part, I know. Uh, but yeah. Now, the armor, here, put this one down, uh, on all parts of the armor, you actually get this lino piece on the inside, which actually does show the protruding pieces, which is really cool. That I really like. Now this armor, as I said, has been used by the Samnites, and it is really good armor. And the really cool thing is, you can actually uh, use this for histati, uh, as I stated, or any other type of cultures. In fact, uh, though over time, the back plate would disappear and only the front plate would exist. Meaning, they would actually just have it attached with uh, leather or rope. And in fact, Celtic warriors would have done this as well. They would have worn something like this underneath their mail, as you saw just a while ago. But yeah, this is really cool. It does work for me. I can easily move, I can easily adjust my battlefield strategy while wearing this armor. And in fact, uh, if I were a Ro have a Roman scutum, here's the thing, uh, I can see why the Hestati use this only, because if I wear a helmet, if I wear this, and have a scutum shield, I'm fully still protected. And sometimes they would wear uh, said greaves on their knees, or or along their uh, legs, so that way they can actually not get a thrust in there. Which, I can see why this is extremely good armor. It's light, it's effective, which meaning it was meant for the time. But yeah, that's actually extremely cool. Now, uh, it does actually uh, make me want to actually wonder, how did someone move in this, and how did they run and such, which I will be doing a armor up video, hopefully with this very soon. I just need a couple more things for his study, so yeah, you all might end up seeing that very soon. Anyways, anyways guys, if you all want to know more about this, uh, take, check the description down below. I will be leaving links to my Facebook, so that way you all can see the page and actually get a uh, Want more information about this armor, and as well, you can also, get, uh, if you all want to buy one of these versions, 
Uh, I will be leaving links in the description, and as well, I will leave more information down in the description below for y'all. Anyways, guys, hopefully you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover any type of armor in history, also, or even buy the said armor in history. Let me also know down in the comments below, because I do this channel for y'all to love history as much as I do. Uh, anyways, guys, as I said, like, subscribe, as well, comment, and hopefully I see y'all very soon. And besides, guys, this is not just the only thing I bought a while back. So hopefully y'all can be prepared to see the next few bits of armor and such. Anyways, guys, see you soon.